What's up Cat Fam? Welcome back to I guess a different type of video. Now I've never really talked about my room or anything like that or how I get everything set together for my YouTube channel. So I wanted to try something a little bit different, show you guys a mini room tour. Now I'm not gonna be like everybody else and tell you, oh my room looks like this 100% of the time. I'm a sewer, I'm a DIYer, I work on projects, and there's just so much going on in my room at the same time. It's like my workplace and my room in one, so I'm not trying to front like it's it's clean all the time. So I did a project real quick. What I did decided to do, I actually took these, these, uh, these were actually really, these are larges, they were really baggy, they're really, huge pants i'm gonna show you guys the remainder of the pieces here what i did huge pants cut off cut them to shorts i kept the hem raw i don't know if you guys can see that kept the hem raw but then i added a little paneling going all the way down also just on the other side i might be adding embroidered patches here or i'm going to be adding text but i was working on that project for a little bit this is just generally my setup I literally just put the mat on the floor and I, I bring out, I roll out this mat as well. If you guys don't know about squatting or I guess kneeing or on your, on your knees, it can get tiring, it can get, it can get a lot of wear on your knees as you see. I'm sorry about the ashiness, but that's just me abusing my knees. <laughs> but this is kind of my setup for cutting. I used to have the cutting board actually up here. And if you guys have noticed, it's a little bit, our, the width of the table is not that wide. So it cannot, it cannot take care of that. So I have to switch over and put on the floor, which is unfortunate, but that's it. Super messy down here. I know I need to organize it, but again, I want to be realistic about my sewing setup. This kind of bag over here is where I leave all my patterns. Otherwise, it would be over here. These are like my go-to patterns right here. Over here, I know I'm kind of jumping around. And it's kind of unorganized right now. I do apologize, but this is my rack. Just to give you guys a breakdown of the closet right now. So we got the, the sippy cup, cup, sweater. We got some kind of pieces that I want to work with in the future. We got a couple of customs that you've already seen on my YouTube channel. This is one of my go-to sweaters, not gonna lie. I, I, I'm not even trying to like flex or anything like that. These are all pieces that I made to wear every single day and wear the heck out of it. Here's the infamous romp him. So a lot of people were asking like, yo, Ken, this looks, just looks like a t-shirt that is, I guess, stuffed into your shorts. I'm gonna pull on this a lot to give you guys an idea that it's not that. It's actually sewn right there which I need to do better better quality control on that, but that's really what it is. And I think a lot of people still don't get it. But down here, I just separated it like that. Tops, excluding the bomb pin on top. Bottoms, so pants, shorts, whatever. New projects, new things, past projects, all of that, etc. It's gonna be down here. These are like my go-tos. Regardless, I've been wearing a lot of black, so I'm feeling like I need to, I, I need to get into color. So that's something that I'm going to be getting into. Up here, we just have some etc. fabrics. I haven't gone fabric shopping for a long time. Oh shoot, <laughs> my apologize, guys. I haven't gone uh, fabric shopping for a while. So all these fabrics were actually pieces that I wanted to get for my girlfriend. I've been making clothes for her. It's pretty nice because then it gives you kind of a break and give you a mental break for making a lot of men's clothing because with men's clothing it can get repetitive or I guess the content or stuff I've been making is pretty repetitive. But yeah, that's generally it. Sewing machine, backboard, lights, lights, lights all the way around. A little monitor there to I have no clue what I use that for anymore. But this is kind of generally my setup, my room tour, and just kind of an update on everything. I want to do more of these to give you guys, like, I guess, daily content. I'm not really trying to exclude you guys from this whole adventure. 
a lot of what I do here on my YouTube channel, I kind of use this, used it as an archive to see my progress from when I started years ago to now and to see myself grow this much. Like literally, I used to do my sewing on a flip table. You know, one of those pull out tables that you can eat dinner with and it like kind of hovers over you. That's what I used to do my sewing on. Now that I've kind of saved some money, worked a little bit hard outside of YouTube, and really grow from day one. And this is kind of my setup, here's my bed up here. Yeah. <laughs> to grow from just that little folding table to this, I just wanna say thank you for, you know, all the support, all the love, and for all of the oh wow this light bulb actually just went out right now that's i gotta replace that anyways so thank you for all the love support and all that i'm gonna keep going as long as i can take you guys along on my journey let's keep it positive let's keep it going and i hope to catch you guys in the next one more daily content like this i'll probably do like how i style stuff and whatnot what when i go to the fabric stores all that so stay tuned i'll catch you guys later i love you cat fam make sure to smash that like button and the subscribe button smash that like button subscribe button nah you don't need to do all that but it's good to remind you because everyone does it here on youtube now and it's i know it's repetitive you hear it all the time but i'm not gonna front i'm not gonna lie to you guys it does help out anyways Catch you guys in the next one. Pew!